How can we not do it LBD? Come on. It's given body. This is it. <laughs> your pear shaped fashion guide. I'm May and I'm Mel. Today's video is about Valentine's Day outfits. Love is in the air. So, we know not everybody's coupled up and even if you yeah. are, not everybody likes to go out for a night out and see everyone and their mum. So, first of all, you need an outfit. We have a number of different outfits for the different ways you might choose to celebrate. So whether it's with a partner, whether it's with friends, like Galentine, or whether it's with family. We have four different Valentine's Day celebrations. So a romantic, sorry, outfits for those four. Yep, so a romantic night out, Galentine's, a cozy night in, or an active day out. So let's show you the outfits. Yes. Starting with the night out, I've gone with a blazer dress. It's actually a bridal dress. Not sure who's getting married, by the way. But anyway, it's a it's lime. It's a feather cuffed mini blazer dress from Nasty Girl. It's a size ten. This is how it fits. I actually like it. It's really comfortable. I chose this because I really like the way it cinches in at the waist. And especially for a pear-shaped woman, it really, I mean, I think it's sexy. I think it's sexy, but not in a distasteful way at all. I love, I just love the A-line fit as well. The colour, obviously, will get you noticed. In terms of, just to mention with the hips, this didn't exactly fit my hips, so I used a safety pin. But there is a button, but I don't think it actually looks too bad like this. I actually really like this. I think it, this dress, it just, it does all the work. It's really simple. Okay, so I'm back with the accessories. I've chosen not to go with a necklace because the dress does all of the work for me. I'm wearing a few rings. And then I have on, oh, I have on a pair of Topshop ruffled mules. They're quite old, by the way, but I think they're really complementary to the dress because as I said, the dress does all of the work, but I love the fact that the, or for me personally, I think the feathers match the ruffled um, part of the shoes. And then again, to go with this look, I would take, I'm thinking of two places in mind. I'd either go with a romantic dinner out or to a bar. So I've gone for a two piece. So I decided to go with a croc bodysuit, high neck, from Catch Me, and then I'm wearing a pair of leather biker jeggings, not actually, well leggings actually, mm. leggings, from Topshop, and I've paired them with a pair of boots. So I kind of wanted to go for a sexy, but at the same time, kind of like effortless look. So I know as a pair, they say you shouldn't wear too tight things, but I think that advice is either whether you want to distract or attract attention and Valentine's Day or with your partner, I'm trying to attract his attention. So this is the look. So I feel like this is a sexy kind of look, but at the same time, because it's fully dressed, it's kind of like sexy cool, especially because of the, um, the biker paneling. I love these leggings. Um, I got them probably nearly two years ago, and Topshop unfortunately don't have anything. They're not available anymore, but what I will do is I'll give you details of something similar. But these are really stretchy, so, um, yeah, like it's not uncomfortable and I really like the pairing of these boots. These boots are from ASOS and the pair of the boots with these leggings, it kind of looks like an all-in-one. So it's a really kind of cool uh, look and also I love bodysuits that have like the little hand detailing. Um, it just kind of looks like a second skin. So this bodysuit is in a size 8 and then these bottoms are also size 8. So 
Obviously, whilst I am very pear-shaped, um, if it's anything stretchy like leggings, I do tend to wear a size 8 because they've got a lot of elastine, so a lot of stretch in them. So in terms of accessories, I've gone with silver. I've gone with silver to complement the zips. So I've got um, silver rings on and then a really tiny necklace from Swarovski. And then I've paired it with a silver bag, or no, it's not silver, it's diamante, or rhinestone, rhinestone. It's a rhinestone bag from a little company I came across on Instagram called Geovite. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it right. It's a French company, so yeah, not sure. But I will put the link in the comments. Um, yeah, I just thought, keep it simple, but the bag is a statement piece in itself. Um, and then I thought a big boxy black blazer worked with this look. And I would wear it off the shoulders as well, just to keep, you know, in line with the kind of look that I'm going for, which is like sexy, but cool. And yeah, this is it. So if you need an option that isn't a dress, um, two separates with like, I love a body skin, especially one that's similar to your colouring as well, that will complement your skin. Yeah, I would go with this. Okay, so I'm back in another green dress for Galentine's. Okay, so this is a midi bodycon dress. Oh, I love this dress. This is a knitted dress. Knitted dress are great. They're a little hack for comfortable and casual dressing, but still sexy, okay? This is, obviously it's long sleeved. I absolutely love, what I love about knit dresses is the fact that you can go from daytime to nighttime. So with this dress, not only is it obviously knit wear, which we absolutely love, but on top of it, I love the seam detail that you see across the entire dress. I love that with knit wear, you have so many different options of how you can dress it up depending on where you're going. So I love that right now, I'm obviously wearing a pair of heeled boots with it, and that would be a nighttime look. But if I were to make it into a daytime look, I could just swap that out with a pair of trainers or a pair of chunky boots. And if I was to dress it back up again, then I'm gonna go with a pair of, say, uh, slouchy knee-high boots or just any heeled boots works. So playing around with colours and textures, what I've decided to go with is a limited edition Burberry trench coat, which obviously has a number of colours in it. And I've decided that it looks best on my shoulders rather than worn. And I've also paired that with the Bottega weave bag. And this is it. It's grown, it's sexy, and Daytime, nighttime look. So for Galentine's, I've gone for a blazer, bralette, jeans, and heeled sandals. Um, I've gone for this just because I think it's more of a relaxed look. So I don't know what the girls might want to do, but this is more of a look for like brunch, or you can go for like dinner and drinks in this outfit. Um, I've gone for a lighter pair of jeans, even though, especially as a pair that like wear darker jeans, but you know, it's, it's nearly spring, spring summer, so like I love the um, the lighter hue, and then um, you know obviously straight jeans are now in as opposed to skinny fit as well. So this is kind of giving me like a nineties feel. These are from Zara in a size ten. So I've spoken about these jeans before, but I had to actually get them taken up just because I'm little and I'm only five still. Um, but I paired it with this knitted bralette from Mango. I actually quite like the different tones. They're actually quite warm tones. They're giving autumn, but I do think the lighter pair of jeans is definitely giving kind of like a summery feel. And then obviously the bag. So this is a an orange Jacquemus bag. Um, and I've also got a lighter pair of heeled sandals from Colt Jaya. And yeah, this is the look. I guess because of the gold buttons as well, I've got gold accessories, a necklace, but yeah, I love this. This is a casual look, definitely you can take anywhere. Um, especially, I live in London, it's a city. This is definitely giving me like city girl vibes. So for your cozy romantic night in, 
I have got a I Love His Stories wrap top jumper and I've paired that with a ribbed split midi dress, midi skirt, midi skirt. This is it. It's It's got a bit of hole, so a little bit of skin if you want, but it's so simple. This is such a nice clean palette. It's black and it's plum. They go well together. No need for a necklace or anything like that. The top does the work by itself and just a few rings, but I think the outfit is just, it's so easy, but yet you definitely put effort in, but your body does all the work. I love it. For Cozy Night In, I've chosen this look. So this is a bright blue knitted bodycon dress from Nasty Girl. This is it. Like so. So I've, cho I've chosen to go for like a fun but comfortable look. And um, as you know, or should know, as per my 2022 style resolution, I did say I would be bolder. So this is my bolder. Um, I love this colour. I think it looks, I, 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 I just absolutely love it. It's so radiant. Works really well with my skin tone as well. And um, as you should know, I love a knitted body kind of dress. It literally does have me by the chokehold. Ain't gonna lie, every winter, you can always see me and find me one. Um, I just love the ease and comfort of them. So, especially being indoors as well, if we're having a cozy night in, I might have cooked or we're getting dinner in or something. Like, you wanna be comfortable, but at the same time, you wanna obviously be given a little bit of sexy, and I feel like knitted bodycon dresses do that. So, yeah, this is my look. Um, I do have all my accessories, but honestly, because it's so bright, it kind of does all the work. And shoes, who's wearing shoes at home? So I have on a pair of slippers and that's it. So this outfit is for an active day out. So I'm thinking more like going to a food market, going to a gallery, seeing an exhibition, um, rock climbing, indoor rock climbing, that is, Skating, ice skating, bowling, uh, I think you get the gist. Okay, so what I'm wearing is, these two are from Nasty Girl. So I'm wearing a faux leather, dark olive, oversized shirt, and I've paired that with a racer neck, tobacco bodysuit, as well as, and this is from Catch Me, these are a pair of combat joggers. And of course, I'm wearing a pair of Jordans. This, these joggers, they come with this chain, which is really cool. So it makes you look a bit more edgy. And yeah, it's it's really cool. Obviously, it's super comfortable, as you would expect. I think it's just a really nice look, but with multiple colours. So in terms of size, size eight, size eight, size ten. And in terms of how it fits for me as a pear shape completely fine these are this is how it looks from behind as i said they're really comfortable in terms of accessories i know you shouldn't mix silver and gold but i do it all the time and i just don't believe that you need to adhere to all the fashion rules do what makes you happy okay so i've gone with a chanel boy bag that i've put across me just makes it much more easier to walk with especially on an active day. And this comes with the silver chain. So I paired that with gold necklace and a gold, a number of gold rings as well. This is it, this is the look. Finished, easy, comfortable, and very appropriate to what you're doing. So for my day out look, I have gone for this little number. So I'm thinking, wine tasting, sip and pain, I don't know, like cheese and wine, that kind of like Valentine's Day day out. So I've gone for like a chic kind of look. So this is a semi-sheer sequined shirt from Zala. It's in the sale at the moment. I can't remember how much it was, but it went down to 19.99. I'm not sure if it's available, but I would definitely give an alternative. 
and then I paired it with a pair of faux leather straight legged trousers from Mango. These are so comfortable, honestly. Um, and the waistline was a little bit big, it did gape. Um, definitely, these trousers are not for pear shapes, can't lie. But I did elasticate it, so I actually put an elastic at the back, so it fits like a glove now. And then also I've got a pair of black heeled boots. Um, these are the ones that I wore for the, I think the night out. Yeah, the night out, definitely. With the other pair of um, faux leather leggings from Topshop. Um, yeah, this is the look. I just think it kind of, um, it's, it's, it's like a cool, sexy, chic vibe. And I've chosen to wear it with only one button just to keep it kind of sexy, even though it's a very, I don't know, like grown kind of look, I don't know, I don't know. So I have paired it with a mini black Jodie Bottega bag, just because we're doing a full black look, well kind of, and then to break up the black, I've actually topped it with a checked tailored coat from Topshop. I've had this coat for years, um, so I don't think they have this in stock right now, but I would definitely pin something that is um, similar. Um, yeah, this is the look, girls. I think this is quite a cool little chic um, number. Instead of you know, not, I know not everybody likes wearing dresses, so I'm a huge fan of faux leather trousers. Like they are literally the it thing and quite comfortable, especially if, you, if you're tired of denim. Um, I definitely think if you want to elevate an outfit, just throw in a pair of straight laid faux leather trousers. And yeah, this is my look. Again, for dates like wine tasting, um, yeah, sip and paint, whatever it may be. But yeah, this is the look. So, this is a bit of a bonus outfit because we originally planned eight outfits for four different occasions, two each. But how can we not do it LBD? Come on. So I have on this LBD Maxi Contour Dress from Honey's. This is it. It's given body. This is it. Like a whole lot of body. But at the same time, it's given classy and sexy and most importantly, grown. This is like that sexy grown ass look, especially paired with the black Diamante Jimmy Tube shoes. I love this dress. Um, I haven't had it for long, but definitely one of my new faves. I've worn it out before and just love it. It's one of those like statement dresses, just because it is a maxi and it literally fits in all the right areas. Like, look at it. And the back as well, the scoop back, I love that. Um, this dress, it says so much without even saying much. That's the simplicity of it. So in terms of accessories, I've decided to go with incredibly minimalist looks. So Swarovski simple necklace, along with silver rings, and then um, the Diamante in the shoes as well. And then to finish it off, I would go with a Diamante bag, which you know obviously matches the shoes um, and a tailored coat. So I've gone for a pop of colour. This is from Zara, the Zara wool tailored coat, new. And yeah, this is the look. I think it's given bold, but again, grown sexy. So yeah, this is the look, guys. Okay, so there you have it. You have eight different outfits for four different occasions. We hope we inspired you, or at the very least, nudge you to go shopping. I think it's like two weeks from now, well, by the time the video goes out. Yeah. <laughs> and, I mean, we've given you a variety of looks. We've given you cool, casual, sexy, and comfortable. Yes. So, hopefully, you liked some of the pieces, all the pieces. I don't know. Whatever, but... Um, do let us know, like, subscribe, comment, share. Oh, and by the way, we also have a Zara haul video oh, yeah. that we did at the back end of last year. So if you, I don't know, if, if you need a little bit more options, check or out that video. Yeah, yeah, check out that video. Um, but 
that's it from us. Thank you so much for watching, especially and all the way please, to the end. Please, please, please <laughs> don't forget to click like, subscribe, yes. comment. We're more than happy to reply back to any questions that you have. Okay. Thank Thanks, you. Guys. Bye. Bye.